Hey guys, it's Robert again. I want to say thanks for coming to this channel. If you're new here, check out my videos. And if you do like it, please subscribe below. And if you've been here before, I appreciate you guys coming back. I truly, truly appreciate it. So it's been a while when I talk about my truck and one of my latest mods. One mod I really wanted to get was called a UCA or upper control arm. And if you don't know what upper control arm is, it's part of the suspension in the front. So when we flip around, we'll talk about it. Alrighty then, so these are actually made by JBA. I picked them up because not only they're made in USA, these are actually the heavy duty versions of the uh, uh, upper control arms by JBA. Several things I liked about them was, uh, first of all, they have a lifetime guarantee for any defects. So that's really good. And one thing that's even crazier is that not only they're made in USA, they give a one year warranty on all their parts. So anything that fails in one year, no questions asked, they will replace it. And they will actually do a Costco style return. You can actually uh, return it if you don't like it in a year. And that's just insane. So what upper control arms do, as you can see, they are part of the suspension. This part of the suspension helps control the stability of the wheel. Um, there's different things, let me back it up here. It's different things called camber. Camber makes the wheel go this way, in and out. You might have seen like the hella flush stuff. You have caster that would, if I put it here, move the front back angle here of the wheel, which is caster. And then you have toll. So if we're gonna flip it like this. And like my tolls, it would do the same thing here, left and right. So toll in and toll out. But like the uniballs, they're really popular and they have their own advantages but one disadvantage is noise with this it has a really good articulation meaning that this thing can really get out there when it needs to uh, off-road um, i'll see if i can find some pictures of what articulation means it's harder to visualize what i'm telling you just without any pictures and um, another thing is that these are greasable you can see uh, the bushings over here are polyurethane and they're also greasable using those Zerk fittings that you see there. So that's one other reason I got these JBAs. Better remember to put this on the top when I put the A-arm on. Sorry, Red, you don't want to uh, stress this out too much. Let's see, they say whack it. That's the reason why we bungee this, so it won't get too wacky. Alright. Alright, I decided to do the uh, passenger side because people were complaining this is actually harder. And there's a piece of metal right here that I need to clear. I could feel it. It's like right there. So.
hitting? Oh. What are you hitting there, dude? Oh. See where it's hitting? The bolt heads hitting right there. Alright, so I punched through this thing to get it out. And I finally had success. That is like the worst bonus bolt to get out. Seriously. Alright, time to get the other one on. Oh man. All right, finally got it. Getting that bolt back in was a pain. Boy. Big bolt or big washer. You can see, uh, that's a prime example why you wouldn't want to put the bolts backwards because somehow it just slid off. I mean, like I said, you could torque it, but if you're getting off-roading and you got some vibration, that bolt's gonna come right out, and this UCA is gonna come right out. So uh, it's best to suck it up and just do it right the first time. Forty-five pounds, eighty-five pounds. I already added a little bit of grease, by the way. So a lot of the documentations I found said that. If your lift is two inches or under, you're okay to use a stock UCA. And it's true, you can get close to spec with it, but one thing I found a little bit uncomfortable was the steering was a little bit squirrely, and that's because of the caster. So when you do either a lift or lowering, depending on what kind of vehicle you have, it affects three things in your alignment. You have toe, you have caster, and you have camber. And those are the three things that can be affected. The Tacomas on the rear are solid axle, so there's no way to change that. Whatever you get is whatever you get. If something is bent, then you'll be out of spec. Now the front though, because of the lift here, it does affect alignment. So anytime you adjust your suspension, whether it's uh, you added a coil over and adjusted height, or you did any type of adjustments that change the height, you will need an alignment. And that's the problem is you have to find a good shop that knows what they're doing. I actually had to take my taco in three times to get it right. And I finally found a shop that did it right. So one of the trucks, we wanna get closest to zero camber if we can, zero degrees camber, I should say. And lastly, the most important thing, and that's where I had problems with steering or being squirrely, it's called caster. On the stock suspension, the maximum with a good technician on a stock UCA is two degrees caster but I got close about, about a degree and a half because it was really hard to find a good technician and it was just a lot of squirrely when I got these UCAs installed the squirreliness cut down a lot these are high caster UCAs high caster stuck out the wheel a little bit more made the steering a little bit less sensitive and now I felt better and it took a year to do it quite honestly if you're gonna lift your taco and you do have the budget go ahead and spend money on the UCA um, a lot of people like I said will say no but if you do have the money and you want a little bit better steering and control, go ahead and get it. Another benefit too is that it helps reduce the rub that you get on the CMC or the uh, cab mount chop. So some people will chop it more. If you get the right alignment, you might be able to make it. It just depends on the tire size. So those are the benefits. So you guys have any questions, please let me know with comments below. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Peace out guys.